five sources of inspiration. Here's the first one, deciding. If you just make a decision, it can be sometimes the day that starts you on a brand new journey. Now, some decisions are incidental and some are small and some, you know, are, are part of a working day. But sometimes decision making can be one of the most important days of your life. Maybe a decision you've postponed and postponed and now you understand the penalty of postponing that decision. You've got to do something and finally you come to the conclusion today is the day. I now decide. And whether you decide on a new direction, whether you decide on a refinement in philosophy, uh, whether you decide to act when before you haven't acted, you decide on a, on a series of things that you're going to do, you decide. Uh, deciding can be uh, such an incredibly important, very exciting, inspirational day. Also, deciding sometimes starts the process of lifting our self-esteem. Sometimes when you look back on it, the day that you decided was just about as exciting as the day when you finally accomplished the project. That when you finally made the decision, you finally got the monkey off your back. You finally you know, got through whatever barriers kept you from making that decision. And finally you made a decision. And now it seems like the sky is blue and the air is clear and your mind is ready. The adrenaline starts to flow. Things start to happen to you from that moment of decision. So that can be an incredible source of inspiration. Now, if you don't follow through, it's not going to last all that long. If you decide and then, you know, postpone and, and you decide and but you don't still don't get to it for a week or a month or a year, you know, soon all that energy and that source of inspiration is all dissipated. So deciding is inspiring, but not for that long. But once you decide, it can be a very powerful day. But now, of course, you, now you must follow through. If there's some things you've been postponing, some decisions you have just, you know, hadn't gotten to, uh, I would ask you to just, you know, take out your journal and just go through, you know, what have I been postponing? That's not going to be better for my health. It's not going to be better for my future. It's not going to enhance my finances. Uh, maybe a problem needs to be solved. I got to decide when I'm going to do it and, and, and how I'm going to proceed. I need to get to it. I promise you, if you'll go through some of that list uh, and start making those decisions, your inspiration will start to flow. And those could be very critically important, exciting days. Uh, indecision is the thief of opportunity. Indecision means the door is still closed. Uh, indecision means the opportunity waits. Indecision means what could be is postponed or may never be. Those are all the penalties of indecision. And sometimes we can't make a snap judgment. We can't decide immediately on something so important. But after a while, after a while, we must understand sometimes the heavy penalty of putting off our, our decision making. So one source of inspiration, deciding. Here's the next one, planning. Now that you've decided and you've started, you start making plans, it's incredible what can happen as a source of inspiration. When finally what's in your head, what's in your imagination now finally starts to take shape on paper. Starting to make those plans, I'm telling you, I remember those days as if they were yesterday. They were so exciting. I had a concept of what I wanted. I had a dream of, of what could happen for me. If it could happen for others, maybe it could happen for me. But when I started putting it on paper and started making the plans, that was an incredible source of inspiration for me. Because the plan seemed to now start making it real that what I had thought about, what I dreamed about, now I'm actually getting to it by making a plan. However, and it is a source of inspiration for only so long. And you can make one plan and then you can make another plan. And you can make some plans today and the next day you can make some more plans and the next day you can make some more plans. And it is a very exciting source of inspiration, but only for a while. I'm sure we would all agree that making plans, uh, that inspiration wouldn't last for a week. Now, that inspiration now must drive you 
to do number three. The first source of inspiration is deciding. Second source of inspiration is planning. And now here's a big source of inspiration, beginning, getting started, actually turning thought and the notes on the paper, the plans, actually now committing it to action, getting started. And beginning can be an incredible source of inspiration. Guess what you can say? I'm on a new track. I have carved out for myself a new beginning. I'm on my way to the most incredible health. I will never be the same again. I'm leaving the old undisciplined part of me. I'm leaving that behind. I'm a new person. I made my first walk around the block that I'd thought about for so long and never did. I finally did it today. I've started. I have begun. That is an incredible source of inspiration. And that is to start, to begin. You cannot believe what can happen to your self-esteem. And many of you have already experienced it. I'm just asking you to begin something new in all the areas of your life. Maybe you've always thought about benevolence and you just haven't gotten started or you haven't made the plans or you haven't made the decision. I'm asking you to start taking that stuff now that's in your head, that imagination, which is very powerful and it's a great source of inspiration in itself. But then I'm asking you then to decide, use that inspiration. Then I'm asking you to make plans, begin to make plans, use that inspiration. And then if you take that first step, it can be the first step of an incredible journey. And beginning can be many things. Beginning a new commitment to learning. You say, I'm going to have a library second to none. And I bought the first book of my new library today. I'm going to be surrounded by information and inspiration. You know, I provided some space in my room for my expanded library. But here's what's exciting. I got the first book today. I've gotten started. Uh, this is just the first of many, many books. This is the first uh, of a whole flow of information for me. This is the first time. You want to learn a new skill and you sign up for a class. Let's say you want to learn accounting or something and you, you sign up for the class and you take the first class. You get started. You'd thought about it. You made some plans for it. You made some time for it. But there's nothing like sitting there in the class with the pen in your hand and the pad ready to take notes. Here I am. I'm starting on a new journey of learning. Remember that. Beginning is a fantastic source of inspiration. Planning is an incredible source of inspiration. If you begin that first week and then you don't continue, yes, you'll be inspired by deciding and planning and beginning. But all of that now will start to fade away if you don't do number four. One of the great sources of inspiration is progressing. Once you've gotten started, now you proceed, you progress. Now you go to class the second week, you go to class the third week. But it's not only progressing in terms of time, it's progressing in terms of what you're learning, progressing in terms of getting the information uh, that you hadn't discovered before. Now you're excited about that. Progress. When you start jogging around the block, and, uh, you know, at first it's a little difficult and then it's two blocks and then you go around four or five times. Uh, you notice when you go up a flight of a stairs, you're not out of breath and it suddenly occurs to you in a fairly short period of time, you're making progress. Then when you start making progress in your business, your ability to make contacts, your ability to talk to people, uh, being so shy, you decided one day, Hey, I've had enough with being too shy and you start and at first it's difficult, but then very quickly and it doesn't take a year. I'm telling you, it doesn't take a month. It doesn't take a week. Understanding that with this new skill now, with this new ability and with my progress, no telling what I can accomplish, because if I can get over the fear of talking to one, I can get over the fear of talking to number 10, number 50, number 100. And by the time I get to number 50 and number 100, my self-confidence is going to be so strong. My self-esteem is going to be so high 
My new skill is going to show such incredible progress that I will never look back on the old ways. So, what an incredible source of, of inspiration progressing. I jotted this down. Unhappiness is simply the lack of progress toward a preset goal. If you're not making progress, see, that's when unhappiness sets in. But here's where happiness begins. Making progressive progress. You don't have to arrive all at once. You don't have to have it immediately. But as long as you're making progress, as long as progress is part of your experience now, it is a fantastic source of inspiration. Now here's the next one. source of inspiration, and that is achieving. I want to have this much experience and be able to do this by 30 days from now, 60 days from now, six months from now. And finally, that six months passes and there you are. Finally, the time passes and you have it. Finally, the time passes and the skill is now beginning to be polished and it is so unique and effective. Achieving is an incredible source of inspiration. When you do achieve, whatever you set out in the beginning where you decided and planned and you got started and you progressed, when you finally achieve, that, ach that achievement is not much more inspiration than when you decided. It's a different kind of inspiration. It's a different kind of feeling to having arrived, uh, knowing that you've got many other objectives to accomplish, many other places you want to go, things you want to do, uh, the person you want to become. But at least I've got this one. You know, I've done this one. It would be the greatest feeling in the world.